Hi everyone, welcome back to Beach Angel Tarot. I am here to do my Goddess Yamaya womb of creation for the month of November. And we are going to dive in and see what messages she has for everyone for the month um, of November. And I hope all is well with everyone and getting ready for the holidays coming up. I can't believe we're in November and we're going to be having Thanksgiving soon. So we're going to open with a blessing she's sending our way for the month of November. So we're connecting to Yamaya, God of the Angels. Archangel Michael, what blessing is MAI sending to us for our month of November? Oh, there it is. <laughs> and it fell. I like them when they fall. A blessing for good men and fathers. So there's a um, blessing on masculine energy to be good providers, to be good leaders, to be good soulmates, <laughs> right? Partners, etc. So the energy is focused on blessings for masculine interaction in the month of November. So let's see. What I'm gonna use the energy oracle, I believe, and maybe this tarot. Whoops, sorry. I'm gonna see also. Let's get another one of these for the opening. So that's the blessing energy. A lot of crown chakra coming here too with the bird and the crown above his head. Um, what other message does I have for our November? There it is. And it is you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see results yet. So there's help behind the scenes or in the undercurrent, right? We see things in the undercurrent. And this card interests me too because you always see this little figure, this little person peeking out behind the tree back there. So there's people around helping you or spirits around helping you that you're not maybe not quite aware of being helped. So I'm going to go from here and we're going to let's see where we go. So this is another message from Yamaya going to be part of the energy surrounding our month so let's see I may pull some more on this the energy surrounding our month of November besides this being helped with men masculine energy right and it can also be the masculine in yourself the masculine energy takes action so it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be about another person outside of yourself it could be helping you take you know the action steps that you need to take as well. So focusing on her message about our November. Oh yeah, and what do you want to tell us for November? Hmm. Well, maybe not so much. Maybe it is about falling in love and kissing the divine in another and in yourself. Again, it th does say in yourself, right? But this does seem to be in with love, with, you know, our masculine energy coming up. So let's see what else we got for that's going to be part of the, what we did say, this is the energy surrounding our month. This is going to overrule our month. I think, I'm, I, think I might just stick to this deck. Um, something she would like to see you create more or spend more energy on in this month. I was also going to say, if you'd like your own personal private reading, you can click the link below to be taken to my Etsy shop. I intend to keep my Etsy shop open um, for as long as possible. So because we're coming into the holidays again you know into the christmas season i will be posting my 2024 uh, energy reading i will be posting my santa at the sea soon probably closer to thanksgiving so everyone has a chance to get it if they want it before the holidays so you can expect that the shop will be open so this is something she'd like to see us create more or spend more energy on in the month and it's coral's wisdom And it says, colony, delicacy, fragility, works that are created over great periods of time. I'm getting to like an antique kind of feeling. Restoration. I'm getting like an antique, like when you restore something old, restorative energy. It could be, you know, if you're feeling older and frumpy, you could be, you know, spiffing it up, doing something to your body and your own energy. There's a restoration kind of feeling. So I'm going to go with that. It doesn't necessarily mean it's your body. Um, 
spending more energy on restore, uh, restoring could be the could be relationship, could be the masculine energy within yourself, um, restoring that love of self or another. It can be the restoration. I'm getting a restoration kind of feeling from this. Um, it's the works that are created over great periods of time. That's the part that's giving me an antique that took me to the rest, like to refresh that, to re to. And not just to refresh and restore it, but to respect. Is the word respect that things? Okay, there's another message. Um, some things you'd like to see us create more of is more respect of the time it takes to create something good. You know, something worthwhile, something worth putting the time into. Restore it for heaven's sakes, even right. Um, so there's a respect of the long term efforts or the long term energy that happens or is that it takes to um, create something valuable, right? Something worthwhile. So that is something she wants us to kind of maybe reflect on, is that message there. And it could have to do with the situation here, if you're finding yourself in that type of situation. Um, it could be your own self, but there is that message coming with that. Energy surrounding love life for the month of November. Energy surrounding love life for the month of November. We have divination, prophecy, fate, destiny, future, fortune. So it could be seeing something destined. Um, I'm gonna pull one from my favorite deck. So, like right now, my favorite deck for love is this one, and I use it a lot in my like my SP reading now and stuff. So I like this deck. <sighs> Prophecy, fate. So you're gonna in the month of November. It's gonna be important. You're gonna experience something faded, something destined, um, and it may give you a glimpse to of the future of your love life. So you may get some sort of solution, right? Um, if this message applied, if this other message applied to this, it's like really um, tying into, you know, respecting, um, like, you know, maybe now, like maybe you're being given some information, some insight into a relationship energy and you're like, okay, now I can see I've, I have more respect in, it may restore your faith is the word that I'm getting it may restore your faith in the process and you have more respect if that's the right word for the process um you have more of an understanding if you will because it's talked about wisdom you have more of an understanding about where it's headed now so with that information so that's just a message for maybe a few that are dealing with a situation that has to involve love and romance right um outside of that in November you could be getting some insight and wisdom on something else that's very important and you love in your life and how to take action steps being masculine energy and in obtaining that right um, and it feels like a little bit of a map um, and being able to like you know like in the old days when we needed a map to get from someplace and it was all folded up well it's like they're showing me the map kind of just gets revealed a little bit and you're able to see like the next leg of the journey um and it could be like wow <laughs> i have some more respect, more understanding of all this over here in the map of where I went or came from now that I can see where this is headed. So it's kind of that feeling. And again, it could be in love. It could be in other things that are important for you and how to journey forward, right? So that's an interesting visual. But let's get, um, that was um, number three. So that was love life. Let's see what other message comes up for love life. Uh, with this destined faded energy what the heck and uh, if there's more to the story and it is open your heart and it says love is the highest energy of all let it in and that's kind of like this let it in right it says kissing the divine in another in yourself and then, look they're ready to kiss that's kind of funny um when you think about it but so from something that happens in this month of November, you may, it may allow you to be more open. Um, it may allow that energy to come to you more fully. 
there's a heart chakra opening happening, I feel, for you in love in the month of November, if you will. I'm going to pull one more just to see. Oh, I mean, it came out quickly. And this is freedom. It says healthy space and room to breathe. So this may be... Um, yeah, if you've had separation, you may be seeing that differently, right? You may be seeing space in the relationship differently. It says healthy space and room to breathe. Doesn't indicate anything negative in regards to the freedom energy, and it's allowing a heart chakra opening. So separation sometimes, again, there's a healthy respect for something that's happened before, right? Um, so if a separation has happened before, you may feel differently about it you may be given something or see something that allows you to feel differently like that actually was benefiting you versus um not and you may have thought it was in reverse or something there's something about that but there's a liberation from something in love that's positive that allows a heart chakra opening if you will Energy surrounding your finances for the month of November. Wave of power. So there's an upswing of energy and finances. A surge of power, upswing in energy, acceleration, accelerating movement. So there would be like if you had a raise or you had dividends come to you, um, you know, something positive, a new job with more money, your money adding up or your savings but there is a lot of good movement coming. You can see it's kind of like splattering away the negativity or the confusion and letting more light in to this energy around you. So good positive energy for um, finances. Something she wants to help us cleanse in the month of November. Reflections. What you can contemplate, you can actualize so this one with a what to be cleansed i would say confusion it's like what you can contemplate you can actualize also uncertainty that feels more like uncertainty other than confusion to me so she wants to help you cleanse uncertainty because if you want to actualize something you know you need to know what to contemplate like you need to know what you're focusing on so i i feel this is an uncertainty so you can get very clear and focus on what it is you want so that she can bring it to you, right? So if you're uncertain and you go wishy-washy and you keep going back and forth, well, I want it, I don't want it, do I want it? Um, and sometimes it's like fears will make you feel like you don't want it. Like if it's like if, say it's love or something, there's a love so big that maybe your mind plays tricks on you and you're like, no, and then you go back and forth. Well, it can create a like a wonky energy too because you're going one way and then you're going another so I feel like she wants to help you cleanse uncertainty so you can become very focused on what it is that you want to actualize. Because this is a huge manifesting card for me. You know, this to me speaks of manifestation. You have to know what it is you want. You have to stay razor focused on it. Not 24-7 driving yourself crazy, but just not being wishy-washy, not going back and forth. Because how is the universe supposed to bring it to you if one minute you're going this way and the next minute you're going that way it's a start stop kind of process all the way through right it's like does she want it does she not want it so it's to to clear that type of static out of your mind about the things that you want to manifest whether it be love finances health friendships jobs career what have you it's to clear out the uncertainty Seed of new energy planted at the new moon, which, gosh, I should have looked it up. I'm not sure. If someone wants to comment below, you can. Or if you want to pick any date here, you can do that, too. It will work that way with intention. Seed of new energy planted at the new moon or whatever date you want to pick. Um, what will be planted at that time? Seed of new energy. I felt this one. And we have divine sensuality, making love erotica. We've got a lot of love energy. Um, this is red being more of the root chakra, so there's a grounding, there's a sense of reality and responsibility in this energy feeling to me too because of the root chakra, st stability, being stable in that energy, um, being, you know, maybe certain, if you will, um, but this energy is being planted in the um, 
moon phase, of that new moon or whatever date. And it is number 22. So divine sensuality, making love erotica. So it could literally be sexual energy. Um, but remember, that energy is also a creative energy. It creates life, right? So when you put it with this in regards to loving yourself and connecting more to divine source, right? It's talking about creating um you're creating and manifesting things more from that pure divine source energy of love period and not really talking about physical connection we're talking about not being in the energy of fear lack desperation that type of thing for anything not just a person but finances health whatnot so there's a feeling here too of kind of co-creating with the universe and co-creating with source pure source energy of love versus any static that you may have with your own egoic fears and lower vibrational energies that can kind of cloud that connection. It's feeling like it's being cleared up. So that's the seed. So there's a more direct um, source being able to feed the things that you want to um, create because even like I said, this feels ro um, rose chakra to me. This feels the root chakra to me. This is still the sacral chakra, and it talks about creating life. So you're creating your life out of a more direct source of love energy, source love, love yeah, source love energy, that and with less um, lower density static and egoic wants, needs, and fears. Right. So there's a more pure, pure connection there, and in, in what it is you're manifesting. Full moon message, something that will come to light and be revealed, I say, for the better and for good by the next full moon, which I want to say is December something. So I like to go out into December for the full moon, um, even if it's the next full moon is in late November. But you can put whatever full moon you want on this. What will come to light? I like to say to be revealed for the good or the betterment. And it is freedom. Hmm. It's interesting. I think I just saw freedom somewhere, did I not? And it was in the area of love life. So it says independent self-determination. So there is a liberated energy here. But it, for this, it talked about fate, destiny. It's something that liberates and opens the heart chakra. So I don't, it's, and like I said, I like, like this for the betterment. So I don't feel it's like you're going to get separated or be free be, due to divorce or separation. It's is a freedom of, you know, maybe toxicity of the heart chakra. Because this felt like a heart chakra opening, expansion, freedom from something denser that was not allowing you to um, be open, openly express yourself or openly feel, right? Um, and this is talking about fate, destiny, being able to see a little bit more of where you're headed in regard. So what's going to be revealed is liberated energy. It's going to liberate, again, the, what we just talked about where we're tapping into manifesting from more of a purity of source energy to create life, to create life in any form, right? You're like what it is you're, you're creating with your life, if you will, um, and the freedom to do that without those lower energies and static coming in and slowing it down and, and creating perceived obstacles in our way, right? Um, so yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed this reading. And remember, if you like your own personal private reading, you can click the link below. Let's get some rainbow rain just to kind of uh, end the reading and get some signs and more messages for our November to look for, to look for from Yemayai moving through the month of November and our Thanksgiving too. I like that. Our Thanksgiving. And we have create. Again, the sense of what are we creating? We're creating more from that source love energy. And we have frozen and will thaw so whatever has been frozen maybe like the heart chakra um an uncertainty race is going to unthaw you're going to know more of where you're headed and we have you know so there's a high priestess a sense of strong knowing undercurrent is admiration so there is um this to me is like an invitation admiration is a sort of like an invitation so you're going to create maybe some sort of invitation or inviting energy that will fall out of frozen energy as well. And um, again, there's that wisdom with the owl. We talked about that wisdom back here um, with this card. 
So again, hopefully everyone has enjoyed this reading. Angel blessings to everyone. Oceans of love. And I will be back with this reading for December, later in the month of November. Big hugs. Happy Thanksgiving.